And here we are. And here we are. The final hour of trading. We are back. How you guys doing out there? Is anyone making money out there? Um, what is this market doing? It doesn't know. We started uh, down. Then it went up. Then it went down. Or then it went up making money out there now it's down a little bit i mean it's a mixed bag the the dow is down 11 points so it doesn't know what it's doing the s p is up 19 and then the nasdaq is up 168. nasdaq seems to want to know what it's seems to kind of think it knows what it's doing um and and it's up 167 points 1.4 percent on the day oil down 161. And there you have it. Now, GameStop, 156.50. Um, we're up on the day, um, you know, four, $4 and what is it, 80 cents a share. Okay. Uh, so um, congratulations for that. But hey, uh, 161.63 was the high today on uh, on GameStop. And uh, we're nowhere near that. I mean, uh, we're, we've lost more than half the game today on this stock. Um, GameStop volume today. 2.39 million, so it's, it's not going to be a heavy, heavy day again. And, um, well, we'll see if we get a late rally or a late sell-off. Uh, we've got 59 minutes to find out. Google is up 17 cents. Uh, it, it's, uh, it was down, it was up, and now it's flatline. The Dow right now, is, now it's up 13 points. The, the Dow is just, it doesn't know where to go. Matterport up 22 cents. Smart Rent up 23. Tesla up 680. SoFi has had a great day today. We're up 33 cents even now at 694. That's okay. Hey, give me give me 34 cents every day on SoFi for 20 days in a row. We got ourselves, you know, a $13 stock. We're at 696. Um, we did reach 708. Okay. We broke seven. That was good. 20.2 million, that's good too. Not great, not incredibly heavy point, but it's the right direction on light volume. And we break, we're breaking through barriers. The other day we couldn't break six, then we did it. Now we're breaking seven. We've done that. 696 right now, holding its own. Not bad. Um, Spire up 11 and a half to 137 and a half. Apple up 232 at 153.32. This stock also has been really jumping high of 153.72, low of 150.30. Right now, 153.32 up 233, 232. AMC, $17.32, up 96 cents on the day, but only 38 million traded. Not incredibly heavy. Um, the story this morning, it came out today that um, AMC um, purchased uh, or repurchased $72 million of its second lien debt at a 31% uh, discount, uh, that during the second quarter, which ended June 30, they uh, strengthened their balance sheet, they say, by repurchasing about $72.5 million of its 10% interest payable second lien subordinated secured note. There's a, there's a mouthful for you. Um, this note was due in 2026. So they still have to pay interest on this money for the next four years if they didn't buy it back. Uh, they bought these notes through the open market for approximately 50 million bucks. They only spent 50 million to buy back 72 million in debt. Now, why would someone sell bonds that pay 10% interest at a loss? Why would someone who has a bond that gives them 10% yield, why would they blow it off? The simple reason is, they're selling it at a 31% discount because they don't think that AMC can pay those payments until 2026. They, they figure AMC will run out of money before then and these bonds will be worth zero. Uh, but um, GameStop's, uh, or sorry, AMC's game plan is simple. They're sitting there going, you know what? Uh, we can use 50 million of our money. We have cash on hand. Why don't we use 50 million of our cash buy back 72 and a half million of our debt for 50 million and guess what we don't have to pay 10 percent interest on that 72 and a half million dollars that's 7.2 million a year we don't pay for the next four years that is almost 30 million dollars in interest we don't pay and we bought this stuff for 22 and a half million less than it than what we got for it this is a 42 and a half million or 50 odd million dollar smart move on behalf of, and it is it's a very smart move 
their interest costs reduced by $7.2 million per year. There you go. Uh, that was the story that came out this morning on AMC. Now, that's the good news. Here's the bad news. The good news is they eliminated $72 million in debt. The bad news is that there's $10.1 billion left to go. Now, all of it is trading at a discount. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. All of AMC's debt that is still out there is also trading at some kind of a discount. But in this particular case, I guess the price was so cheap and the yield, the interest rate was so high, 10%, they decided, why don't we buy back a bunch of this 10% debt, take it off our books. It's not all of it, but it's a chunk. Save $20 million in the cost and then save $30 million in interest. We don't have to pay $52 million in savings over four years. Yep. That's a that's a good move. That's a very good move. Anyway, it, it the stock is up. AMC is up a dollar to seventeen thirty six, but this isn't going to save the company. This is just uh, it's a move in the right direction. What they need to do, and unfortunately, here's the catch: if they were allowed to raise more money by issuing stock from the treasury, every bondholder out there that has bonds is going to go. I'm not selling my bonds at a 30% discount to these guys. They just raised a bunch of money from selling stock. They can buy me out at par, at full value. So it's a catch-22. If um, if AMC keeps buying their own debt from time to time, but not raising fresh cash, they're going to run out of money. They're going to reduce their debt out, cash on hand, to get rid of ten billion in debt. Even if they got it at thirty percent off, they'd need seven billion in cash. They don't have seven billion in cash. They got like a billion something maybe. So they need to buy debt at deep, deep discounts. The high yielding, high interest debt at deep discounts to make it worth their while. But in reality, they cannot raise serious amounts of cash unless the shareholders allow them to issue more stock from Treasury. So catch 22, there you go. Do you buy the debt first and go down to zero cash? Go to your shareholders and say, look, um, we just spent a billion dollars of our money. Uh, all the cash we had left, we just spent it all on debt. We bought one and a half billion dollars of our debt for a billion dollars in cash. And at eight or ten percent interest, that one and a half billion we just bought back will save us 120 to 150 million a year for the next three, four years. So that's another 300 million in savings, 500 million in savings by buying back the debt at a discount. We just saved AMC 850 million dollars for the next four years. There's a catch, though. We're out of money. We have to raise more money now because the one and a half billion or whatever billion we had lying around is gone. Will you let us do that? Because the company is not $10 billion in debt anymore. It's $8.5 billion in debt, actually, because we just eliminated $1.5 billion in debt. Um, if the shareholders say no, the company goes broke. The shareholders say yes, the company issues stock from its treasury, but at a diluted number because they're diluting their shares, the shares go down anyway. So there's the problem. Unless they can buy their debt at $0.10 cents on the dollar, which they can't, they're buying it at 70 cents on the dollar or 60 cents on the dollar, not at 10 cents on the dollar. Not buying it at 10 cents on the dollar means they can't get rid of all of it. And so there's this thing going on. And it's interesting to watch, interesting to follow, and uh, most uh, unique scenario. All right, that's AMC up 103. ATIP down 6 cents. Rocket Lab up 29. Sixtera down 8. And 23andMe up uh, 12 and a half. Pfizer down 63 cents. Hewlett Packard up 14, Cisco up a dime, Twitter up 9, HD Home Depot at 30350 up 370. Carvana's up $4, 2698. Robinhood up 37 cents to 940. Vanic Vectors up $5 to 228. IBM down 230 again, 12850 still falling. Microsoft up $3 to 262. Uh Goldman up 366. Turned around, it's up to 321 now. Meta Platforms, the old Facebook, up seven dollars to one eighty two ninety seven. Amazon up four seventy nine to one twenty three. Bed Bath Beyond up twenty six to five fifty one. BlackBerry up twenty to six seventeen. Royal Caribbean up two forty. There you go. Let's go back to the top of this list here. The Dow is ahead by fifty points at the moment, and we've got SoFi at six ninety four, up thirty three cents. We got GameStop at one fifty six eighty two, up five twelve. Uh, D.A. Truda is saying, Uncle Bruce, I am thumbs up number 23, and I want you to know I rolled my July 29 expiry 125 
GameStop contracts to an August 19, 128 exercise uh, contract so that the p price post split won't be an odd number example 3125 i'm overthinking this stuff i figured 32 bucks would be more appealing there you go um this is okay this is an okay move you've moved up three dollars a contract by doing this rollover that's three hundred dollars more to you if you were to be exercised um bringing you <clears throat> three dollars closer to the market and um uh i think you brought in some extra money so it's a good move matthew i rolled a 125 gamestop call to a 155 that's expiring in september it cost me 30 bucks cash pretty happy with this after all i mean if you can for 30 dollars, you can go from a 125 to a 155 you just went up three thousand dollars in your exercise price for 30 bucks that that, that I, I call that a good value move the other thing too is the shares if they back off here a couple of dollars down to 150 your 155s are out of the money they have no book value they're purely time value and that will depreciate to zero if the shares stay under 155 either now or divide that number by four after the split and stay under that number these contracts will be worthless nicely done Matthew very good uh, agent per 50 million every week would get it done man that's a lot of debt though yes 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 bobby atkinson welcome back bruce we are back in canada bobby thank you we are back let's see what happens um robert hamilton i made 2825 yesterday on gamestop and amc uh put sells trying to acquire shares at a discount made money while trying to acquire nicely done what else why why is ibm down why bm why oh my gosh what can i say um what else is going on here uh bruce check the five-day chart on gamestop it is something to behold it is up 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 isn't it it is higher higher pants on fire um the old one week chart. yeah look at the old one week chart on gamestop started here a little higher then lower and then look at this climb right up to here right up to here yep climbing right up to the 162 level today 161 63 that's a big move but what goes up can come down here's a one month chart um we backed off and then we came on here's a three month chart on uh, gamestop up here down here up here down here up down up and a six month chart you can see here a one year uh one year chart right there that was the good old days in the 200s 250s up there and if you look at the two-year chart look at this from zero <laughs> up to 300 and now here we are here what a crazy run this stock has had unbelievable today 2.4 million traded up 540 to 157.10 right now on your GameStop shares all right thank you one and all for being here and hanging out with us Nick thank you for thumbs up number 42 you guys are awesome if you uh, if you're interested and uh, I don't mind it a bit. Uh, please let us know how long you've been a member of this channel. Um, just hit the dollar sign down below the chat here, and you have an option there to uh, send a message to everybody and let us know how long you've been a member of this group. That would be wonderful. By the way, I've got a poll question going here. Um, now with uh, 47 minutes left to go, here's the poll question. GameStop will close under $150 a share today. Yes or no? Will the shares hold 150 or higher, or will they break down? 31% uh, of you said, yes, sir, we're going under 150 tonight. By the bell, uh, at the end of the day here, we're going to be under 150. 69% um, of you going, no, 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 we're going to stay over 150. We're at 157.14. There's no way this is going to happen. Uh, 75 of you have voted already. Let me know. Uh, put in your, uh, your answer and, and tell me what you think. Thank you for the 53 thumbs ups already on this program. I appreciate it very much. Eighth Gregory, number 43. Duncan thought he thought he was number nine. Double D says, I think I've been, I've been here two years, man. Two years. Beautiful stuff. Thank you, everybody. Um, D Spicy says, I've been a member for 24 hours. Woo-hoo. Uh, and then having a great time doing it. Thank you. Bobby, um, Bobby, I guess, I don't know, any thoughts if we'll start rising in markets for the rest of the year, or is this a month-long dead cat bounce? Uh, I, I don't know about, you know, a solid rise. Could we go lower than the low we've had already? Yeah, we could test it. If we go through it, then, you know, more downside. If we test the lows and don't break the lows, we might bounce up even higher. We got to see what the final inflation fight is all about. Interest rate hikes, how far, how much. And we have to see what economies are doing around the world. This is not a USA, Canada issue. This is global. 
So let's see what's going on. Bob, uh, Robert Hamilton, I have a GameStop 120 for August the 12th expiry. Should I just hold for a split or should I roll it? What do you think I should do? Now, Robert, at this point in time, um, you still have to wait 22 days, uh, you know, three weeks and two days before your contract expires. You're not likely to do a rollover at the moment. The only reason you would do a rollover in my humble opinion, would be that if you can roll up to a 130 call by buying back your call and selling a 130 for just as much money, you might have to go a week or two further down the line in time, maybe a month later, that would be a move you could make where you can justify saying, okay, I rolled over my contract, I bought it for this much, I sold it for just as much money when I sold the new one, but the new one is $10 higher on the strike price. Instead of being a 120, it's a 130. Now, if you were to be exercised for whatever reason, right now you'd get taken out at 120. But if you got taken out on the other contract, you'd be taken out at 130. That's a thousand dollars more to you on one contract. If you have five contract, then it's a thousand times five, five grand. Um, if you can write um, a 120 for a month later, and bring in an extra five or six hundred dollars in cash for the extra time you're giving this contract you can bring that money in right now you can do that rollover it's another way to do it uh, but you don't have to do anything because you don't have you have three weeks to wait and the good news is the split happens starting friday i believe so all next week starting all next week and beyond but starting next week gamestop won't be trading at 157 a share anymore it'll be trading at a quarter of this price the question is, will the shares be sitting around the $38 to $40 neighborhood? Or will they go to $40, $42? Or will they back off from $38, $40 to $30 to $32? If they go down to $30, that's $120 right now. That would be a $37 loss on the stock value, which would bring your contracts way down. You'd be in pretty good shape. So you've received a premium already to write your 120s. If you get taken out, you get to keep the 120 bucks and the premium you've already received. Maybe you pulled in $15. I don't know what you got, but if you got 15 bucks, that's $135 a share. Um, if the shares split um, and they immediately back off next week, you don't have to do anything. You just keep doing what I'm doing right now. Keep your arms crossed and do nothing. Because if the shares back off for every dollar they drop next week, that's a $4 drop right here, what we're watching right now. Today's range is only eight bucks. We've gone from 153 to 161 today. That's all we've done. It's an eight dollar move. That's a two dollar move starting Friday. So if next week we have one day next week where we drop three dollars a share, that's a twelve dollar drop. If we have three or four days of two or three dollar drops in a row, we drop six bucks in four trading days. That is twenty four dollars in losses pre-split and this is where your contract will pay you handsomely if you buy it back for a discount you've got time you're in no rush you don't need to rush to make any kind of changes the only way you want to do this move now on a rollover is if you can if you can significantly raise your exercise price from 120 to 140 or 150 even if it costs you some money um for example if you can move up from 120 to 150 that's a 30 dollar increase in your exercise and the contract you write might be a september contract let's say but you don't get equal value the one you're buying back is costing you more than the one you're selling but the one you're selling is 30 dollars higher on the exercise price if that cost you five bucks in other words you had to pay 500 dollars for a contract more than what you are uh, you're paying more to buy your contract back than what you can get, but you can move up $3,000 on the exercise price. That's a $2,500 gain to you, but you got to pay $500 to get it. You might have that. You might not have that handy, but there's nothing wrong with moving up to a $150 price from a $120 price for a $500 cost for, say, a two-month contract further out. Because if the shares do drop to 130 a share in a week and a half, two weeks from now, even a month from now, they go down to that 130 level, you know, pre-split 130. 
you've got yourself a 150 contract. You're 20 out of the money. Your contract is depreciating dramatically. Of course, you'll now have four $37.50 contracts because you've got 150 contract now. You'll have four $37.50 contracts. If the shares go down to $33, they're 450 out of the money and every day that goes by they keep depreciating they've lost all their book value they only have time value you may find that in two weeks from now two and a half weeks from now you might be buying back those four contracts for half the price you just did a rollover for or a 40 percent of the price an excellent excellent move of course what you'll do then is you'll buy back the four calls for way less than you sold them for and you'll write new calls that are closer to the actual trading value of the stock and you'll write them closer in in time so that you're not out there in September or October. You might be sitting out there with the mid-August calls instead of mid-October calls. You've just brought back the time uh, expiration date dramatically and you've, you're dealing with a lower price contract overall because it's shrunk so badly because the stock is backed off. The rollover game can really work wonders. But, you know, if you don't do anything, you don't do anything. You don't have to. All right, let's go on. Mirko, Nick, any thoughts on Tesla? Where will it go after tonight's earnings? Hopefully somewhere in the 720 range. We got Tesla at 746, up 998. I, I don't know why it's even up. Uh, it could be that the numbers are so bad. The amount of money they're bleeding out in, in Berlin, the amount of money they're bleeding out in Austin, and the shutdown in Shanghai was so costly that uh, the losses could be far higher than people thought and the prospects of those two factories in Berlin and Austin turning up and turning around into a positive cash flow machine might be longer than people thought maybe the stock drops 50 bucks don't know anyway I always give you a thumbs up Bruce says drops thanks buddy um I'm just buying real estate these days right on Nick Uncle Bruce I rolled over August um uh, five um uh, let's see, August 5th, 22, um, uh, 150 strikes to September 16th, uh, 165 strikes. Um, with a net credit to me, did I do good? Oh, you did very well. That's very smart. Um, yes, moving up $15, first of all, in strike, and you got a credit for that on top of it? Yeah, that's a good move. That is a really good move. Waiting for the next dip on gold before I buy. Robert Hamilton, I got 200, um, I got 20, 20 per contract, and I have six contracts. Thanks, Uncle B. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. Mirko, hey, Uncle Bruce. I rolled a 110 GameStop that's going to expire this Friday into a 115 for August the 12th with a $1.24 profit. I'm happy with that. If GameStop won't come down, I'll just keep rolling up and out. Exactly. Exactly. You don't have to roll out months and months and months. You can roll out a few weeks on this one. Um, taking a little extra money, $124 a contract, move up $5 in strike. First, first week in, in August towards the 8th, 9th, 10th, you can do it again. Uh, you'll roll to a 120, maybe towards the end of August or early September. By that point in time, you might roll forward into a 125 and bring in another buck 24 problem. You might do this two or three months in a row and going up 500 every month just on strike price uh, movement it might be every two to three weeks you're doing this well done that's getting richer one way or the other you're getting richer all right coyote Mirko, this is the way this is the way thanks guys says Mirko. cody blakely i'm thumbs up 65 for you buddy thank you so much you guys for being here and throwing these thumbs ups our way we do appreciate it robert hamilton has been a member now for 14 months as a chillin with uncle bruce member thank you robert for your dedication to this channel and being a member for that amount of time. Love it. Um, glad you're here, and I hope you're making nothing but money. Nothing but money. Um, 2,200 contract times six contracts. That's making money. That's $13,000 plus. Dollars. That, that's paying for the membership. Rock and roll. I love this. Uh, way to go, you guys. Um, who cares? Is number 67. Thumbs up. Bobby, what's the next adventure? Uncle Bruce, back to California for the winter. What's going on? All I know is that Jennifer has to have a hip operation. And the waiting list for Alberta is at least two years to see the specialist and then probably a year and a half to get into surgery. We're not doing that. Uh, Jen is going to be in surgery between now and the fall. Uh, we'll have to pay for it ourselves, um, but that's what we're going to have to do. And then Jen will recuperate uh, with physio. And uh, if, uh, if uh, it is determined that she needs additional 
medical care uh, because her knee is also really acting up. Uh, we might uh, tackle that a few months after the hip, depending on recovery. And uh, that would mean that uh, we really wouldn't be very mobile uh, for a big trip, but we would be mobile enough to do what Bobby is talking about, heading to California to Palm Desert and uh, chillaxing through the winter as Jen does her physio and builds her, her, her strength back and gets her um, mobility back. Um, because being down south means that we'll be in a condo where we have access to a, um, a, a spa for the hot water treatment and a pool so that Jen can do exercises uh, with lower gravity and lower stress on her ligaments and joints. Uh, yep, that is the that is possibly the plan. Who cares? It's my favorite channel. As Nick, Mirko, um, I am waiting for it to peak uh, before shorting. We'll let you know when I do. Uh, send your info to Uncle Bruce so I can get, get in touch with you. Just uh, um, now, Mirko, if you send me an email with your email contacts and tell me that I can pass it on to Nick, I'll pass it on to Nick, and then you guys can talk privately. Bobby, uh, two years, um, not your SoFi. Do the knee um, drops still holding Spire Matterport and SoFi? Long time, I think. Um, vapor rub. I just had a hip uh, arthroscopy. Hip, hip arth <laughs> arthroscopy. I can't pronounce it. You know what that word is. Way, way to go, vapor. I hope you're doing well with this, Jeff. God, I love socialist medicine. Uh, well, everything was shut down here, like everything in any other country in the world for public health care. Hospitals were full of COVID patients, so. Uh, shoulder surgeries, knees, ankles, hips, um, all elective surgeries canceled, postponed. So we now have a backlog. Then that's just the way life is. Unfortunately, uh, Vapor, two months to no crutches, six months for back to normal. Right on, Vapor Rup. I'm sure hoping it works well for you. Uh, we're, um, we're looking at the market right now. We've got the Dow up uh, 78 points. We've got SoFi at nine six ninety seven, so just under $7, up 35 cents. We have 33 minutes left to go. GameStop is 158.72, up 702. It's trying a little run again. Uh, we'll see how much the run will be. Um, Amy, as a new member, hi, Amy. Amy Horseman um, has become a brand new member of this channel. And not only is Amy a member of this channel, Amy has become a Gold Bagel level member. Thank you for joining the Gold Bagel family with the rest of us here um great to have you amy tonight at eight o'clock eastern time right up here you might notice we have a uh, we have a logo right here the gold bagel member logo you're invited eight o'clock tonight eastern time for the gold bagel member hangout show um just for gold bagel members you will automatically get an invite for that thank you so much for joining us and uh, the gold bagel members so we'll welcome you in for sure there we go. Welcome, Amy. Uh, Ron uh, Dugan is number 72 thumbs up. Thanks, Ron, so much. Uh, enjoy the primetime show today, says Bobby. Uh, Hybrid Duncan, welcome, Amy. Uh, this is good stuff. Can I join you all tonight? You bet you're in. We'll get you. We'll make sure you get that invite through uh, YouTube. Uh, welcome to the party, pal, says uh, Gaiotti. Uh, Alex, welcome, Amy. Are you our first TikTok recruit by chance? Uh, BZ, prime show is back. Uh, Gaiotti, um, Amy, yes, you should be able to. Um, Hello Smith has also popped in as a member, um, Gold Bagel member, another one. Uh, thank you, uh, Hello Smith. I, I, that name is very familiar to me. I get the impression that maybe Hollow is rejoining us uh, from before, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm just thrilled that uh, that Hollow has popped in as well as a member. And we'll have another, uh, hopefully someone else watching, another person watching tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern on the Gold member family primetime show uh john's touchpad number 74 says john amy no i have been lurking for many months fantastic amy thank you for uh, making the leap to join us uh this is good stuff um hello smith my guy says coyote hello um uh, sorry Uncle B. i've been gone for a while but i'm glad to be back fabulous uh absolutely fabulous goody hello has been around he writes on amc there you go Spare, shouldn't this all go down mostly during earnings season thanks to the bad uh, vibes from China? We'll see, my friend. Michael, come on, Sofi. Uh, Mikey wants to wants to shotgun a beer here. <laughs> Ethel. Hey, Ethel. Um, NVIDIA is moving, she says. Um, let's take a look here on the old NVIDIA. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, get this to come up here. Oh, there we are. Up 922, 179.14 NVIDIA. Hasn't that been beat up, that stock? Unbelievable. 
Thanks for letting us know. And uh, Ethel, uh, Splare, and good evening, y'all. Hope you have a good day. Thanks, Splare, for joining us today, as always, my friend. It's great to have you here. Uh, we are now looking at a 95 point gain on the Dow. We got 698 on SoFi, coming up to seven bucks again. GameStop, 158.75, up uh, 705 right now as we're watching this uh, the entire market make its move. Uh, Tesla's up 850, and earnings come out tonight, so we'll be waiting for that. Oh, my, look at this. Uh, Rose, uh, Rose Hinchcliffe, uh, new member, um, Gold Bagel member, another one. This is awesome, guys. Thank you for becoming part of the Gold Bagel family. Um, thank you, uh, Rose, for doing that. Uh, that name, again, looks familiar to me. Uh, this is wonderful. Lobo Lost, looking forward to tonight's school with Uncle Bruce. Tonight, not much so way back in the day, if you know what I mean. Uh, Splayer, already forgotten it. Today's prime time, and I've got to be in. Michael, uh, C. Pelosi's husband, buy a whole lot of NVIDIA right before a potential chip vote. No inside info there. Uh, TIF is number 78 on the thumbs up meter. Gayote Rose Hinchcliffe, welcome to the gang as well. More gold bagel members are coming into the sh to the channel today, and it's absolutely wonderful to have you all here to join the simpletons and intellectuals that are already here. Mirko, welcome, Rose, um, Splare. I have probably two questions. Need to write them down. Get ready for tonight's show. We'll see what we can cover. We're up seventy nine on the Dow. We're up eight seventy five on Tesla. So far, six ninety six, up thirty five cents today. GameStop 158.63 is where we're at right here, right now. Thank you all so much for popping in here. Uh, uh, phys, uh, what is it? Psychotropics. Welcome, fellow lurkers. Ricardo Canales. Think uh, Google will back off. I got a covered call. 111.50 on uh, on 805, August the 5th expiry. Um, you need a little bit of help there. Uh, can easily move ten dollars up or down. So uh, there's a ton of movement here, good volatility. Uh, Ricardo, I think you're going to make money on this. So just just got to wait it out. Uh, Lurkers unite, says uh, Ricardo. <laughs> All right, on. John Bickman, uh, Michael, three cents away from shotguns for you and Austin under the bridge. If this stock so far would just go a little higher and stay there, Alex. Uh, Tiff, how are your nerves on HPQ? Today's chart has been eventful. HPQ right now up 16 cents. It's at $33. We've been as low as $32.57, as high as $33.46. Right now, $32.98, up 15 cents on HPQ. Another fun day in the markets. Uh, Rosie Posey 64 is here. Thanks all, a.k.a. Rosie Posey. Thank you, Rosie, for popping in. It's great to hear from you. Um, welcome, one. Welcome, all of you, to this uh, channel today and uh, the eventful um, movement. We've had uh, we've had an up market, a down market, up market, down market. We're up 61 on the Dow. We're up, we're up 27 on S&P. We're up 200 points on NASDAQ. NASDAQ's having a wonderful time. Under, up 1.73%. It's doing great. S&P up 0.7. Uh, the Dow up 1.18. That's all the Dow's up. Not even a fifth of a point. Oil is still negative, has been negative pretty well all day. We're at 102.61 on oil, down $1.61 a share uh, a barrel. Tiff, Uncle Bruce, what's wrong with Spire? It had interesting good news today, and it moves up, and it looks like it stays up for today. So strange. Uh, SoFi right now is, uh, let's see, where are we at on SoFi here? Um, there we have, or on Spire, right? Sorry, Spire. Spire, 139, up 13 cents, and the volume on Spire, 770,000. ATIP down 7.5, not a good day. It was up this morning. Uh, ATIP got up to 144. It looked great. 863,000, and now we've uh, we've uh, backed off, so I don't know what to think about that. Look at the uh, Rocket Lab, up 32.5 cents to 441. Nice to see that popping up on 2.5 million, so it's good to see Rocket Lab up a bit. ME up 12 and a half to 295. Pfizer down 61. HBQ, like I said earlier, is up. It's up 12 cents. Google up 23 cents today. The Dow up now 43.9. Uh, Nick is saying to Merco, be just uh, just short of Tesla. I just shorted it at 745.80. I am short Tesla, says Nick. Coyote, I had no idea Apple would have been having this good of a week after Monday. This is unreal. Alex, Coyote, it makes zero sense. LL. Thumbs up, number 87, Bruce. That's what we are right here. Apple right now up 231. 
sitting at 153.31. I, too, am stumped by why it would go up when we know they are cutting budgets. Um, Apple is untouchable. We'll find out. Uh, see how this all works out. Cheers, everybody. From around the world, I've got a coffee cup here from my daughter's uh, a cupboard that has the world on it. Uh, cheers to all of you. That's caffeine-free diet coke in there. It's not coffee. And uh, thank you all for joining us today and being here. Mirko, Nick, I, I did it yesterday at 7.43. I missed the 7.30 today, so I am waiting for another dip. 7.43 up 6.20 on Tesla. Coyote, Alex, I mean, I'll take it, but logically does not track. There you go. We've got GameStop at 158.44 uh, and SoFi at 696, just under the $7 level. Michael saying, Apple's killing me. It went down. Now it's gone up. It's killing me. Tiff, Alex, actually, it's okay. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit annoyed that my stink bid last week didn't hit, but I scanned the option chain today. I should be able to roll into a 32.50 or a 33. This is on HPQ, I think. August call with a small gain right on TIFF. That can be done too. So as these options expire, they come down to book value only or no value if they're out of the money. And that is your opportunity to do a rollover or a rewrite. Um, absolutely ways to make this work. Tell the truth. That is a huge lampshade behind you. This is actually a lampshade. Uh, you can't see the top of it. Uh, you can't see the bottom of it. This thing is massive. And I am suspended uh, in midair in the middle of this live shade. That, that Ricardo, you, you've you worked it out. You, I can't fool you guys. You're too sharp for me. Thank you all for being here today. Great to have you here. Um, by the by, uh, for those of you out there who wanted to do um, a one-on-one -on -one with me this weekend, um sunday is gone a uh, sunday is booked out um i only have slots now for saturday uh 10 in the morning eastern time 12 eastern time or two in the afternoon eastern time those are the only three times left now for any one-on-ones sunday it's all booked up uh back to the poll question here gamestop will close under 150. now the stock is 158.17 and we got 23 minutes to go so this is a huge ask uh, 131 of you have voted uh, on this poll question that GameStop will close under 150 today. 31% of you are saying, sure. 69% are saying, not a chance, Bruce. We're 822 above 150. There's no way this stock will back off eight bucks in these last uh, 22 minutes. You're, you're dreaming. So, well, let's see what happens. Uh, you know, stranger things have happened in this market. Karim, Uncle Bruce, do you think any issues in the housing market or remote work will have a negative effect on Matterport? Uh, I think it'll be an, a positive effect on Matterport. Uh, if more people go to work, then these security systems and these uh, these uh, measuring systems and analyzes will be even more counted upon. Water leakage, uh, uh, intruders, anything like that. So Matterport will make more money. If more people stay at home than uh, go out, um, you know, um, you working from home and uh, you're leaving your house to go meet a friend uh, for a cup of coffee at a Starbucks a couple miles away, whether it's a walk, a bike, a car ride, you're monitoring your house while you're away. Matterport's doing that for you. It's, it's monitoring the temperature inside the house. It's moderating, moderating the humidity level. It's moderating... Uh, whether the curtains are open or closed or partially open or closed, again, because it'll all be wired into the Matterport system. Matterport makes money no matter what what you want to do. I think it's a winner. Nick, Merco B, 730 is possible and could test 640 if the earnings are really bad on Tesla. Tiff, if nothing else, I'm learning a lot right now by writing on HPQ, and that's what was my main reason to buy the stock in the first place. And boy, you are learning stuff today. And this week, a BZ, what huge lamp? Is there? Is there a lamp? There's no lamp, is there? Alex, I got until next Friday, and I'm sitting on my hands for now. A down day could easily take us back below 32. John, um, uh, Uncle Bruce, thoughts on GameStop right now, the stock split, price target, all that good stuff. I think the shares are topped out. Um, I've been saying that for a couple of days, and they just keep going higher, but not by much. We did hit 160, 163. We're at 158.19. We got this 160 print. We got the 150 print. So, you know, after the split between 37.50 and 40 seems to be, at the moment, the neighborhood. 
But I'll tell you, um, it would not surprise me in the least uh, that in the first week or two after the split, we go down into the low 30s again. And if we lose five bucks a share after the split, that's $20 from here on the down dip. That makes it 138 and it could be more. So we'll see what happens, John. DQ is number 93 on the thumbs up meter. The savior is in the house. If you can't beat him, join him. I decided to jump on Pelosi Index Fund. Not doing so bad, huh? rock and roll. Uh, Michael, it's a uh, normal lamp. Bruce is four foot eight inches. So, you know, he is tiny. The lamp is you know, normal. That's why it looks like that. John, uh, have a great evening all. Heading to a, uh, looks like a swim meet. I think that's what that means. Right on, John. Uh, DQ, Sofa, uh, Sofi, King, Late. What does that mean? Uh, Aaron, anybody looking at uh, TBLT, um, uh, SI over 100%, this thing's blowing up, new short squeeze. I have no idea who that, who that is. I don't know what they do. Mirko, Nick, uh, 640 would kill it. Um, I'm not sure I could fold my arms that long, probably freak out around 670. DQ, uh, Karim, Uncle Bruce answered for smart rent, not Matterport. Um, uh, yeah, I did smart rent earlier today. Oh, no, I did. Oh, sorry. I answered for smart rent. Matterport. Matterport is, uh, sorry, folks, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, confused here. We're, we're uh, talking about um, Matterport. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what Matterport does. <laughs> I put myself on the spot. Uh, I'm so tired. I'm still suffering from jet lag. You got to remember, it's 141 here. It's actually like 941 in Switzerland. So I'm, I'm get, I'm starting to lose it. Um, <laughs> Matterport, help me out, Matterport. Um, board of directors. Um, okay, digital, uh, 3D digitization. Oh my gosh. See how tired I am? Um, still, I love the Matterport. Uh, you want to move real estate in a tough real estate market? You better Matterport your property. You want to move um, resort accommodations and get your resort filled up before the guy next door? You better Matterport your resort. You want to uh, fill up your cruise ships? You better Matterport your cruise ships. And I think that's going to happen with Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Carnival. They're all going to do it. I'm, I'm certain of it. Because these lame photos from a camera aren't going to cut it anymore. We want 3D imaging on wherever we're going and whatever we're doing, especially bed and breakfasts. Or if you're going to rent an entire condo, uh, you want to know what you're getting and you want it quality. I, I think that's all about Matterport. It's a winner. Bobby, uh, that's a lot for 3D camera. I, think, I think you mean smart rent, Uncle Bruce. There you go. Uh, a H. Gregory, I can't find your TikTok, Uncle Bruce. Can't find it. Um, the, the TikTok account I have is called Stock Markets with Bruce. It might be stock underscore markets underscore with underscore Bruce. That might be the way to have to find. I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with the TikTok thingy, but it's brand new. I'm brand new on TikTok. I've now put up a second video. And so try and find my two videos on TikTok for stock markets with Bruce and see if you have any luck there. Alex, you have plenty of time. My call expires this Friday. If it drops below 3250 until then i'll still make a gain and uh, and any bad news can make a drop or uh, more than as we've said i have an exit plan there you go john appreciate it right on john Mirko, uncle uh, 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 nick um until now i was mostly in and out during one to three days of trading doing it for two weeks was very profitable on tesla nick i'm uh, I am uh, I am hurting on Goldman Sachs short right now, but averaging it up because on Friday there will be profit taking. Longs make money, shorts make money, pigs get you know what. Alberto, uh, uncle, you can begin right now from your show. I'm here. A DQ Matterport equals three D imaging for real estate, Uncle Bruce. Yeah, thanks, DQ. Um, Nick, a short Tesla before earnings is or is it too risky? Jennifer, um, meet Kevin was saying positive things about Matterport today on fox business i like to see that um coyote uncle bruce on TikTok. now i've seen it all h gregory i'm bad with TikTok too i feel old ace ventura hi bruce hi ace ventura what's going on um michael be careful on TikTok. all they save all data and it's uh, chinese owned uh alex uh, uh, tiff as bruce would say right on there you go all right there you have it thank you all for uh seeing me here today uh, we got 16 minutes left to go and then we're done for the day uh thank you everybody for uh, those of you who have become members of the channel today we've added some gold bagel members today which is pretty cool being stuff and i thank you all for that thank you 
Join me tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern, all of you Gold Bagel members. Uh, we're going live tonight at 8 o'clock on Prime Time Live with Uncle Bruce. Looking forward to this. Um, thank you. I just shifted the uh, chat over to uh, members only. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being members. 102 thumbs ups. Also, guys, thank you for getting me to 102 thumbs ups. That is awesome sauce stuff. Um, this uh, skill testing question, the poll question, asking you about uh, whether or not GameStop will close below 150 today. 30% say yes, 70% say no out of 149 people. I, I think the no's have it because I don't see weakness um, coming into this market, although you never know what can happen in 15 minutes. But it doesn't look like we're going to have a bit really bad sell-off here. We're up 70 on the Dow. We're up 27 on S&P. We're up 190 on NASDAQ, NASDAQ. So we'll see what's going on. Can you hold up your phone with your TikTok page? I can't find it either. Uh, well, let's see what I can do here. Let's wait and see what this looks like. Here's the TikTok page. Uh, or or at, see here it says at stock markets with Bruce. Do you see that right there? At stock markets with Bruce. You get that? Maybe that's what it is. Um, stock markets with Bruce. Explaining the stock market in plain English is my tagline. And uh, hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here with Stock Markets with Bruce. Join me on my YouTube channel, three o'clock Eastern time for the final hour of trading live in the markets. We're going to talk about making money, writing options. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. I just did that message earlier. That was the one I did, the second message. The first message has had 108 views. Pretty cool being stuff. Oh, my God. It's my first ever TikTok. It's Uncle Bruce here from Stock Markets with Bruce. Can you believe it? I've never done a TikTok video before. Join me live, 8.30 Eastern time, tra uh, Stock Markets with Bruce on YouTube. I almost said uh, uh, traveling with Bruce there. Um, we've had some likes. We have five followers. This thing's blown up. I'm going viral. Uh, this is awesome sauce, man. Uh, you got to love this. Thank you, all of you, for your support. Try to find my uh, my TikTok channel if you can. And uh, give, it the old, give it the old, you know, share and everything else. Help it help it get exposed. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend and I are not yet 30, says Gary. We were talking last night and said that TikTok is the first thing that makes us feel old. Uh, we're just never going to get into that laughing out a lot. A uh, spare uh, carvan up. 20% up today. Isn't this too high for today? Or did I miss out on something? I don't know, my friend. BZ, I wouldn't put TikTok on someone else's phone. DQ, Uncle Bruce TikTok is linked to his Twitter. Um, um, uh, Michael, um, that's what, what I said about Facebook. So TikTok is a definite no for me too. Coyote, I mentioned this will just be a green week at this point. Uh, Coyote, um, I, I don't know what could possibly come out to make people panic. Alberto, um, okay, got it. Uh, Splare, I don't think it'll lose eight dollars in 14 minutes coyote best of luck with uh, tiktok bruce looks like a good opportunity to teach many younger people about investing dq uh splitter uh, because games that was never dropped that fast oh wait though wait um wing commander you should have named the channels traveling with stocks in plain english uncle bruce <laughs> alex coyote well well we've done war and plague recently what does that leave famine pestilence who knows um uh splitter, mostly five dollars not almost ten dollars um coyote alex we haven't had a good uh, pestilence in some time we haven't had really good pestilence in a long time uh <laughs> the dow up 82 points um games up 158 44 uh hanging in there up 874 674 and we got so far at 694 we have tesla at 744.69 there you have it uh dq is saying stocking with bruce in plain english how about that stocking with bruce um over at uh, google we're up 20 cents uh the dow up 94 matterport up 30 cents to 439 smart rent 509 up 23 sofi uh 695 spire up 12 and a half to 138 and a half apple up 226 to 153.26 amc up 133 to 1769 atip still down but only down seven and a half cents rocket lab up 27 we've got um We've got Sextera up uh, uh, down 20 cents, ME up 13, Pfizer down 44, HPQ up 11, Cisco up 18, Twitter up 20 cents, Home Depot up 295, Carvana up 450, 2735 today. Robinhood up 34 cents, uh, Vanek uh, Vectors up 558 to 228, IBM still down a buck 65, but we were up 128.06 for the lower, 129.22. We brought in a, we brought a dollar back. Uh, Microsoft um, up 282 at 262.35. Goldman Sachs up 320. 
Meta platforms up 7.30, Amazon up 4.50, Bed Bath Beyond up 37, BlackBerry up 22, Royal Caribbean up 240 at 38.78. Target up three bucks. JP Morgan up a dime. Costco up 460. Walmart up 140. Nvidia up 877. Disney up 380. eBay up 90. Uh, American Airlines up 16 cents. Netflix up 14 bucks to 215, almost 216 a share. Moderna, Moderna down 11 cents, just uh, almost unchanged. All right. There you are. 91 point gain on the Dow. 158.75 on GameStop. And so far, 696. Uh, there it is, just under seven. Munamo is number 106 on the thumbs up meter. Thank you, Alberto Gaudi. You're featured in this video. Alberto's laughing. Um, Nick, DQ, start a short. Uh, start a short. One Tesla, get the field, goes up uh, short two, goes goes up short four, average it up two, uh, uh, to par, and the bid, and it shoots up, sweet it, sweat it out, short again when really high, and then fold your hand. And wait, uh, it's not just one transaction. It can be multiple transactions. And if you have enough dough, you, you, you short 10 shares, goes up a few bucks, short 10 more, goes up a few more, another 20 short. Keep shorting the higher it goes, lift your average. As, as soon as it backs off, you're in the money and away you go. There's a strategy. Uh, Gaiotti, Alberto, oh, what? No way. I'm TikTok famous. Uh, Karim, why is Meet Kevin videos all seem like negative clickbait? Seems like all doom and gloom. I don't know. Alberto, you are hilarious, especially since you said TikTok is a is a pass for you. Splair, I bet we see 160 before closing. I'm probably not at closing, though. Uh, Joe, I'm not seeing the TikTok either. DQ, Nick, gotcha. I burned myself on it last week by being impatient and bailing out. Uh, Gaiotti. Alberto still is, I'm sorry to say. DQ, uh, Joe, Olivia, uh, go to TikTok URL with a slash and Uncle Bruce's username, including the at symbol. There might be ways to figure this out. Again, I'm not a I'm not an expert on how you find me on it. Uh, I happen to have the the icon because my daughter uploaded it for me, and I'm just learning the very basics of TikTok. I have a long way to go to really make it work, but uh, you can figure it out by all means. That would be great. Uh, Fifty eight eighty nine on one fifty eight eighty nine on GameStop. SoFi six ninety six seven forty four on Tesla right now. We got eight minutes to go. The Dow up 92 points. Michael breaking. Matthew Kachuk tells Flames he won't re-sign long-term. Trade is likely not the best free agency so far. That is the breaking news right now. Nick, um, I love shorting, uh, and 98% of the time I make good money, only 2% of the time when I lose. Well, the Calgary Flames will have to uh, take offers for him if they do want to trade him. And they'll probably get some uh, serious offers. It all depends on the teams that are coming to them. Um, and then we'll see what happens because Matthew obviously will want to go somewhere else and sign for big money. He'll get big money. The question is where. Unfortunately, the Flames are going to lose two of their best guys in the summer after having one of their best seasons in a long, long time. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way this business goes sometimes. We're up 71 on the Dow. We got seven minutes left to, to play in this third period here, kids. Uh, Tesla up $7. SoFi at $6.96. GameStop, $158.67. That is what I see right now on this market on some of our favorite stocks. Uh, SP up 28 and the Dow, the NASDAQ up 199. The NASDAQ is up 1.7%. The SP up 0.72. The Dow up 0.27. There you go. Um, We'll see what happens. Okay, we'll keep an eye on things. Um, uh, never a dull moment. 158.52, a little dip on GameStop. Uh, 158.51, another one, but uh, just hanging around just below halfway, uh, between halfway point on, on GameStop today. The low 153.40, the high 161.63, and we're at 158.44. There you go. Okay, um, DQ, Uncle Bruce, I just emailed your TikTok URL if you want to put it up on the screen uh thank you for that uh let's see if i can make that pop up there um and we'll do that here is my here is my url let me see if i can get this my TikTok url see if that works for you guys uh there it is uh www.tiktok.com slash stock markets uh click on that and see if that works for you i don't know 
let's hope it let's hope it does um it's uh stock markets with bruce with underscores between stock markets between markets and with and with and bruce there's an underscore uh thanks uh, thank you very much uh, for that i uh, appreciate that uh, that message i appreciate that let's see if that helps people find uh, find my uh find my TikTok page <laughs> Awesome sauce stuff. Uh, you gotta love it. Um, uh, Alberto, DQ perfect because there's another Bruce on TikTok and he stitched Uncle Bruce's video. Uh, Nick, uh, Margaret, the market is rigged for small investors, says Nick, and hedgies will short it when it's someone invests for long by the gullibles. A uh, splared NASDAQ and Dow and SP look to me, they look for me like they would try to go more up tomorrow, but on the week chart, I wouldn't trust them, says Splare. There you go. Uh, we're up 64 on the Dow with now four minutes to go. We're at 158.15 on GameStop with a little more of a pullback. 697 on SoFi, three cents away from $7. Okay. Mirko, DQ, it works. Thanks. I found him. I found Uncle Bruce on TikTok using that URL. Thank you guys for finding me. Become followers if you want and uh, check out the videos if you can. And I thank you all. I'm trying to uh, promote the TikTok thingy uh, to get more followers and users. Hopefully, this will uh, will add to the following of this channel. Um, I'm getting hearts now on the first uh, the first posting, starting to show up, and uh, got a heart also on the second one. This is great stuff. People are finding it, and uh, it takes a while for everything to follow up. I now have eight followers instead of five on TikTok. How about that? Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, appreciate it very much. Uh, and if you're able to promote it in any way, please do let the world know that we exist. We're here uh, talking about how to make money in the market. Uh, DQ, right on, Mirko. Austin, uh, reporting for duty, sir. Let's go to $7. 696 on the SoFi, we're up 39 on the Dow. We're down seven on Alphabet, going red over there. Uh, GameStop at six, uh, up 628 to 157.98. We're under 158. We've got three minutes to go. 157.96 to 157.98 on GameStop. SoFi 696. Tesla 741. Backing off. Mark Cherry, I am thumbs up number 115. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that very much as well. What is going to happen with this market? I do not know. Uh, DQ, le here, let me short so far. That'll help you, Austin. H. Gregory, I got the TikTok right on, guys. Thanks for finding my TikTok link. Uh, uh, appreciate that. Um, and uh, and uh, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep posting stuff as we go on, <laughs> as we get better at it, I hope. DQ, do it, says Austin. Uh, so far, 697 now up 35 cents. Game's up 158.10, 157.96. We're jumping around here. Two minutes to go, and we close for the day. The Dow right now is up 55. We got Tesla at 742.59, 742.08. We're backing off a little on Tesla here late in the session. Uh, only up 549. Not a big move on the upside at this point. 697, SoFi. Volume on SoFi with uh, two minutes to go. 23.5 million on the day. Game's up 158. Uh, 92 a uh, volume now 2.7 million 2.7 million not a big day even less than yesterday you cannot hold these gains unless we get more volume this uh, this split is coming and without 10 million of shares a day trading now i don't know how we're going to do 40 million on friday i just don't see it i can see 10 to 15 million trading but we need way more than that we're going to need 30 40 million a day to get this thing going i, I wonder if we're in for a, a dip here, Austin got some nice buy orders coming in at the end. Come on, baby, six ninety seven on SoFi. SoFi testing, teasing up the seven dollars all day long. Austin, hold off, Larry. We got to get seven bucks. Don't hit the bell yet. We got a minute to go. Hold off. Seven forty one on Tesla. One fifty eight uh, thirty six on GameStop. Six ninety seven on SoFi. As we are closing out the day, the Dow up forty four points in the last minute. Larry is laughing. He's got to hit the bells anytime. He's got to do his job, and uh, we're going to shut this baby down. 696 on SoFi. Maybe tomorrow we get that run way past 7, get into the 720, 740 range, and uh, build even more. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. 41-point gain on the Dow. Tesla at 742. SoFi 697. GameStop 158.49. 
and Larry has done what he has to do. He is hitting the bells. We are done for the day here with uh, with a 655 gain on GameStop. SoFi up 35 cents today. A nice day, 697. Tesla up 591 during the market at 742.50. Uh, the uh, the Dow up 51. Alphabet turned around. Google up eight cents. Matterport Matterport held 30 cents. Smart Rent held 25 cents on the gain. Spire up a dime. Apple up 204. AMC up 116. A ATIP down six and a half. Rocket Lab up 28. Sextera lost 34 cents all in the last half hour. ME up 13 to 296. Pfizer lost 53. HPQ up 11. Cisco up 10 cents. Twitter up 13. Home Depot up 278. Carvana up 450. Robinhood up 38. Vanek Vectors up 525. IBM down 161. Microsoft up 274, Goldman up 270, um, Meta Platforms up 730, Amazon up 456, Bed Bath Beyond up 34, BlackBerry up 20, Royal Caribbean up 269, Target up 345, JP Morgan unchanged, Costco up 397, Walmart up 102, Nvidia up 815, Disney up 372, American Airlines up a nickel, Netflix up 14 bucks, and Moderna down 25 cents. Those cover. That covers most of our favorites here on the end of the day. That's it. There you have it. Um, nothing uh, much else other than that to tell you about. Uh, we're up 50 cents on GameStop in the aftermarket. And Tesla, 741.50 down a dollar in the aftermarket. Michael is booing SoFi. I'm not booing it at all. I'm really happy with the big 35 cent gain. I'm very happy with that. Give me 10 days like this anytime. Uh, Coyote. The bells are going. DQ, thanks, Lair. Austin, can't be greedy. It was a good day. Right. Alice Smith, Uncle Bruce, should I hold off on writing my SoFi? Or is it okay to write while it's this low? I've been writing just out of the money at seven. I wouldn't write right now. Um, not at the moment. This stock is running uh, like a dollar every couple of days. There's something going on that's good. And uh, we may not be done yet. Let the stock run higher and then take a look at writing tens. I don't know. LL is laughing a lot. DQ, sorry, Austin. I shorted a Tesla instead. LL, have a good evening. All. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks, LL. Uh, not your SoFi. TSLQ long here. Uh, TSLQ, whatever that is. Thank you all for uh, hanging around and being with us right now. Um, the Tesla is 741.10, down a buck 40 at the moment. And uh, we'll see just what this market uh, does when the Tesla numbers get released. We'll be following that. Have a good evening, everybody. See you all tomorrow. Says LL. Thanks, buddy. Not your SoFi. TSLQ long here. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, we'll find out. The the uh, the um, the Nasdaq market had the good day today. Nasdaq was up one point five eight percent, up one hundred eighty four points. But the other two indexes were not as good. We're up 0.59 of a percentage point on the S&P and only 0.15 of a percentage point on the Dow. So a little higher, yes, but not a lot higher. Big days yesterday, not as big today. Okay, um, this uh, Not Your SoFi says that that uh, TSLQ is the short ETF on Tesla. Great day, Simpleton says, Duncan, DQ, of course, Tesla is running up. Uh, what 747 right now 747 750 on tesla right now tesla 750 something's going on obviously the uh, the numbers are coming out the earnings tesla uh 750 a share on a hundred thousand um waiting to see if the numbers are about to be released now i'm showing them at 745 again uh let's see uh what is the deal here we don't have the results yet, not that I can tell. Anyway, uh, 747, 749 at the moment. Uh, 745, I'm showing now. 745, up only 250. They were higher uh, at 750. Now 754, up 1140. Just jumped again. 749, up 1140. Now 726, down 16. Now dropping. 726, down $16. In the aftermarket now, seven forty nine. You tell me what's going on. Tell me. You tell me. No idea. Uh, Mirko, see you tonight at primetime simpletons. 
and intellectuals, 8 o'clock Eastern, earnings call, 5.30 for Tesla. That's when the earnings call will be out. They'll release their number shortly, 7.52 to 7.55 right now, 7.54. We're up $11, $12 a share, something like that right now on Tesla. But we we saw a trade below this. I don't know if that was real or not. Not sure. 7.54 on tesla 756 this is good so far 757 758 in the pre-market on tesla waiting to see what the numbers are 759 761 higher and higher again this means you short more if you're a shorter you short it you short into the straight and you up your short position average you short your average higher push it higher 764 now on tesla 764 uh, up twenty-one dollars a share at this moment. Seven sixty-six on uh, on Tesla. Seven sixty-seven. Uh, Two hundred twenty-six thousand traded. Very thin. Seven sixty-six now, and we'll see what they have to say. If anybody knows, anybody hears, you let me know um, on what you're hearing out there on the stock. Seven sixty-seven ninety-six. Seven sixty-eight thirty-four. Up twenty-five eighty-four at this moment 769 on tesla 770 on tesla 770 dollars on to erupt 2750 on the close now for the day the uh, the high for the year of 1243 dollars we're a ways away from that um it's the low of 620 so we're closer to the low than the high uh, we'll see what's going on just buy puts dq what do you do you can't buy puts in the after hours uh, you have to wait till the market. 771 now on uh, Tesla uh, at the moment on 326,000. 774 up again. 774 on Tesla. Um, I did an actual short sale, says DQ. 775 on Tesla. Short them here. Um, I meant, is that how he's shorting it? Uh, there you go. 775, you can short after hours depending on who you're with. Uh, certain firms will let you do it. Uh, 775 62 776 67 we're jumping around a lot on the tesla right now okay uh mike gotcha michael is saying i got you now 774 86 on tesla um waiting to hear the word on earnings on tesla are there earnings on tesla that is the question waiting to see what they have to say um 772 now uh, on Tesla shares, okay? Don't have any news yet that I can find on Tesla. 773, I've got nothing official anywhere. If anyone sees anything, let me know. Um, let's take a look over here. Over on CNBC, um, they're going to report after the bell, they say. That's all there is. Um, we don't have anything official yet that i'm aware of uh here okay we got the numbers tesla uh numbers are out here they come says uh, cnbc earnings per share 227 versus 181 expected according to uh refinev uh revenue 16.9 billion versus 17.1 expected so one is higher one is lower deliveries were 254,795 uh 27 growth from a year ago but 18 percent from the quarter before deliveries are the closest approximation of sales tesla discloses its model 3 and model y vehicles comprise 93 of the deliveries russia's brutal invasion of ukraine and COVID outbreaks in china exasperated ongoing semiconductor and parts shortages along with other supply chain snags COVID restrictions in shanghai forced tesla to temporarily suspend or limit production at its factory there during the second quarter of 2022 Elon Musk also lamented the high cost of starting a production at the new factories in Austin and in Brandenburg, Germany. During an interview with Tesla owner Silicon Valley, a company recognized fan club, Musk said that the two factories are gigantic money furnaces. Um, and uh, the CEO announced steep headcount cuts in June. We know about that. Uh, cryptocurrency holdings for Tesla, um, uh, they are looking at losing $460 million due to Bitcoin declines. That is the rumor. Bright side, 2 million vehicles at its Fremont, California factory, a milestone has just been done. And uh, 
Well, we'll see just what gives. Will there be more? Will there be more updates on uh, Tesla? I'm sure there will be. The shares are 772 of uh, 29.90 right now, and um, we'll see what's going on here um, with more more numbers on on Tesla. Tesla grew, uh, revenue grew 42 percent, but automotive margins declined. Another headline coming out now. Margins are lower on Tesla. Um, that can't be good because they've been upping their prices dramatically and they're still getting hit with uh, 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 margin squeezes here. Not good. Um, I have a, have a good night, y'all. Read, uh, read us tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Spur. Thanks, buddy. You take care. Uh, 768 now on uh, Tesla. 768. We've backed off from the 750s. 769 at the moment on the 519,000 volume on Tesla. Still up 25 bucks on the close after the close. 768 is where we see it. Uh, we're waiting for more clarification, more detail on this uh, news. Um, Barron says the stock is soaring on the results. Uh, that's what they're that's what they're saying. Um, and as I say, we're at uh, 769 right now. Okay, there you go. All right. Uh, you guys keep an eye on that. Um, I've got to shut down here. Jen and I are uh, packing and we're heading to another location. But uh, I'm going to load up now the 8 o'clock show Eastern time. I'm going to load it up for you now. Those of you who are Gold Bagel members, you're going to get alerts shortly to join me tonight at 8 Eastern time. So I'll look forward to seeing you then. And uh, we'll be doing that from our next location. So thank you, everybody, uh, for being here today. Thank you for your support. Welcome new Gold Bagel members who've joined the party today. Great to have you. And we will catch you tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, for Primetime Live with Uncle Bruce. Don't miss it. See you soon, everybody. Bye for now.